Hello everyone and welcome back to Lotus Premier Education. My name is Amanda and I want to be your college tutor. Today we're going to talk about teacher recommendations. This is something I get asked about quite a bit. First of all, how do you ask for a teacher recommendation? Well, before you can ask your teacher, you need to know which teachers to pick. So the general rule of thumb is you need two teacher recommendations in addition to your guidance counselor recommendation. Your guidance counselor, you don't get to choose. So you wanna make sure that you work really hard to build a good relationship with your school counselor because they will be writing a recommendation letter for you. Then you have two school teachers that you get to choose to write recommendation letters. The general rule of thumb is that these teachers should be from junior year. However, it is most important that they are teachers who are going to speak really highly on your behalf. One thing about recommendations that you want to remember, it's not a bad recommendation that can hurt you. It's a lukewarm recommendation. If your recommendation is not fantastic, outstanding, great. There's going to be thousands of others that are fantastic, outstanding, and great. So make sure that you focus first on the two teachers that are going to speak the most highly on your behalf. And one of those teachers might end up being someone from sophomore year, which is okay. Secondly, I hear a lot of rumors about how students should choose one teacher in a STEM profession and one teacher in a humanities profession. That is not true. It doesn't matter what subject your teachers teach, as long as, once again, they will write you the most high recommendation and if they are in a core subject. So this is the only exception to that rule. They do need to speak most highly on your behalf, but they have to be from a core subject. So that's a math, a science, an English, a history, and a language. Those are all fair game. Now, once you've chosen your two teachers, it's best if you can ask them in person. Your first ask should just be really empathetic. Show them that you're really grateful for the time that you've had with them and that you'd be really honored if they'd be willing to speak on your behalf. Once you've asked your teacher in person, then it's perfectly okay to send a follow-up email and you should send them more information. The more information that they have to write your recommendation letter, the better that recommendation will be. So some teachers will actually ask you to fill out a form for them, but many teachers don't. So in that case, you can send a thank you letter, let them know that you're really excited that they're gonna be working on your recommendation letter, and attach your resume, or a couple of small things that you'd love for them to include in the recommendation, like a moment or two in their class that was really impactful, or one of the reasons you chose them to write the recommendation in the first place. Remember that if you're filling out a form for the teacher or if you're writing an email expressing some of the things that you would love for them to maybe think about as they write your recommendation, you want to be thinking long term. So it's not just what did you do in the class that they can speak about, but it's why their class or those moments in their class show them or show the admissions officer who you're going to be long term and why you're a compelling student. So we hope this helps. If you have any other questions about teacher recommendations, comment down below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to our channel, and if you do subscribe, let us know in the comments so we can thank you. We'll see you soon.